Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. And you may notice we are starting in a different place than we ended. What I decided to do while I was off screen was go to each of the temples that we could find and um, pick up the rest of the powers. So we picked up... Uh, let me just put the powers on. We picked up Particle Beam, which is... Yeah, particle Beam. Uh, emit a powerful ray of cosmic energy, dealing terrifying damage to a single target. We also picked up Moon Form, which channeled the energy of Luna, Earth's beautiful moon, to be as unmoving and resilient as stone. Uh, we then picked up Life Forced, transfer the very life force of an enemy, harming them while you heal yourself. That might be quite handy. And then the last one we picked up was Supernova. Cosmic energy explodes around you with the terrible force of a dying star. Now, I returned to the lodge and spoke to Vladimir again to see if he had one more temple, because you will note there is a space here. But, at the moment, he says no. So, curiosity. I wonder whether we have to leave it for a little bit of time. But there are three undiscovered temples still. So, I think once we've discovered that, I don't know what the other three would be. I don't know. But, well, anyway. Anyway. What we decided to do was come to Aquila and pick up this tree branch while we're here. So let's do it. I'm going to get the ship repaired as well while we're here because it is in dire need of some um, some fixing up, which is fine. Um, oh, you're up. Need some work done? Yes, please. We're asking everyone to take care of any leeches on their ships. We don't want any Terramor storming through here. That's cool. Fixed it up. Looks to me like you're already in pretty good shape. Oh. I thought we needed repairs. Maybe we don't. All right. Well, let's get this tree branch. Uh, and then we will uh, see what else we can do. I would quite like to get the last power. If we can. If anybody knows if you actually can. That would be quite handy. Because I would like to go into the Unity with all the powers. I think that would be really cool. I don't know whether it makes any odds to your, to your new game plus. Whether you even get to keep them or not. That's the ultimate question, but we shall see. All right, here we are. Everything you see here is a piece of Aquila City's history. All right. Um, can I just have a little look around? Oh, look at this. Cool. What's what's the book? The Gravity Paradigm. Cool. I never did read any of the books, did I? I must. Um, I must start doing that. The Sword of Damocles, yes. Alright. Um, madame? Ooh. We have one of those. Ours is very fancy. Alright. Hello, Leah. I have artifacts that date all the way back to the time of Solomon Coe himself. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'd like to talk to you about a tree branch. That is not something I expected to hear today. I assume you're somehow associated with the United Colonies. I've received some odd messages of late. Why, yes. Uh, I'm helping Mast, yes. Um, I'm more of a private contractor working freelance. Yeah, what sort of messages? Several that bordered on being incomprehensible. Honestly, I thought it was some kind of strange prank until now. Okay. A bunch of gibberish about dire consequences and frequency modulation and genetic reconstruction. It all came across as rather unhinged. Well, I'm afraid you've wasted your time because I'm not authorized nor particularly inclined to release any of our pieces. That includes hundred-year-old tree branches. Well... Sorry, but it's staying in storage. I mean, we'll try and convince Hi. her. Please feel free to have a look around. It's the reason I started this place. Yeah, I really need the brunch. I hear what you're saying, but I'm afraid it's out of the question. Hmm. I'll bring it back when I'm done with it, and I'll make sure no damage is done. I guess it couldn't hurt. Um. Maybe we should try this. That branch is a vital piece of important xenobotanical work. Now Ugh. you're just trying to confuse me. It's a dead branch, and it belongs to the museum. <sighs> yeah. If I don't get that branch, things could be disastrous for the people of New Atlantis. Huh. Ugh. A disaster befalling New Atlantis? 
hard to get upset about that. Wow. I can't just hand out museum exhibits to anyone. It doesn't work that way. Well... If this isn't some sort of hustle, go talk to Earl Fulton. I believe he may still have some leftover scraps. That, of course, is a different kind of hustle altogether. Earl Fulton. Well, do you know what? I'm more inclined to just nab the thing and then bring it back. Because, quite frankly, madam... I can't believe that you would, you would, you would be quite so cavalier about people's lives or lives. What? what I'm worrying. Uh, yeah. Do you know what? I'll take it all. Screw it. To do that. I imagine it was not part of your training as a miner. No, it was part of my training as a, as a, as a. The branch is the museum's don't know, property. Xenobiologist, whatever. She's not handing over and that's fine. Well, tough taters. We've already got it in our inventory and we are peace and out, baby. Peace and out. In fact, is there anything else that needs to be done here? Well, that's mildly dis disappointing. Yeah, we've been to the empty nest, haven't we? All right, well, never mind. I thought there might be some other jobs here, but apparently not. Right, well, we'll um, we'll head on back to uh, Kelton and hand over this branch. Oh. What the hell is that? It's a, it's a... Can we... Scan it? No, it's just a random drawing. Alright, Andreja, let's, um... <sighs> let's go, girl. Good grief, honestly. I just... This is madness. I wonder if he's got any shit parts I could do with some. Alright. Kelton, good lord, sir. I have this branch. Thing. Hello. I hope Aquila City has what we need. Well, have you do. paid a visit to Miss Castler in Aquila City? Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't think she likes me very much. Well, I'm sure she'll get over it. Or perhaps you could simply avoid Aquila City. Maybe the entire Free Star Collective. Oh dear. No great loss there. Wow. Now. I just need a moment to analyze this and synthesize an audio response to our friend here. Cool. Oh. All right. So we'll feed in a sample. Now the program will incorporate Is that the tree? The chemical makeup of the sample, extrapolating the size and structure of the original it's loud. tree. This was put together rather hastily, so complete accuracy is impossible. But I'm hoping it's enough. Okay. And there it is. Our best hope for a positive solution to this mess. Okay, so what's 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 it doing? It's very loud. Very loud, dude. So, we now have a simulated response to our tree. All that's left is to play it. Okay. Uh, how do we play this? Yeah. An excellent question. I have been wondering myself. I've been forced to listen to this SSNN kiosk chatter incessantly this entire time. I think it could be put to better use. Okay. We don't have time to go through the proper channels, but if you can find a terminal and get this uploaded into their system, it might do the trick. All right. Um, exposure to the frequency in this simulation could be potentially harmful. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. You're right. There's a chance that there could be some minor adverse side effects, but none would be life-threatening. Okay. We won't play the broadcast loud or long enough to cause any major or permanent damage to humans or other organic life. I hope you're right. But aside from that, if we don't calm this tree down soon, well, I fear that the vibrations it's emitting will eventually reach such strength it could severely damage our internal organs. Oh, okay, I'll take care of it. I have no doubt that you will. Yeah, it's it's kind of loud. Jeez Louise. Okay, so we need to upload it over here. So we're fixing the tree. Hopefully Vladimir will, will find us a... A new temple, because I'm... Wait, what? Oh, is it down? Oh, good grief. Yeah, hopefully Vladimir will find us another temple to... um. To go and visit and pick up the power from, because it seems weird that we wouldn't have that last power, doesn't it? Not that we use our powers that much, but 
We should probably start using them a little more, eh? I don't know. Maybe. Do you know what I've just realised this quest is? This quest is... Litterbugs. It's, um... It's the Skyrim quest for the tree, isn't it? Oh, what was it called now? It was in the middle of White Run, wasn't it? Hmm. I know you had to go and take Nettlebane was the weapon and go and get a, a trimming or something, wasn't it? I remember. I am glad there is still a reliable source of news in the settled systems. Uh huh. It often travels significantly slower than light. True. I wonder if we can actually listen to this recording before before we upload it. Can we? Can we listen? We probably can't even listen to it. Kelton's audio file. Ultra low frequency warbling. Not something we can listen to. Guess our ears can't pick it up. All right. Broadcast diagnostics. Run diagnostic. No diagnostic file found. All right. Upload the file. Okay. Run a diagnostic. Do it. Ba bam. We freaking did it, baby. And return to the tree. All right. Well, okay. Let's go to the tree, baby. Good lord. A lot of back and forth this, you know. That's the noise, really? Okay. Kelton, it doesn't seem to have helped, dude. We've done it! I'm already seeing reductions in the strength of the vibrations. The tree is calming down. I can hardly believe that worked. So, what happens now? I don't know! Ugh. Helpful. We've been in uncharted territory this whole time. That doesn't stop now. With the immediate crisis hopefully over, I can slow down and review everything we've learned. And certainly, I'll be keeping a much closer eye on our friend going forward. All right. And you, you have saved this tree and advanced our scientific knowledge of our environment. Noble work across the board. You have my gratitude and that of every citizen in New Atlantis. Though they don't know it. Yeah. Okay, I mean the tree... Oh! Well, it's gone quiet now. Okay, well that's cool. There you go, we saved a tree. We've been very charitable again. Look at that. There it is, the tree. I mean it's a massive tree. Let's just... Hold on a minute. Let me have a look at this thing. Look at it! Good God, it's monstrous! It is massive. Could we climb that? I mean... Eve, no. Alright. Let's, 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 let's have a peep. <sighs> I don't know whether to just build the armillary, you know? I just, I don't want to disappear without all the other powers, you know? I, I need to know, can you actually get the final power, or is it not a thing? Who was Giliana? Giliana? Gil She's on Titan. Oh, our new homestead. I thought we helped her. Well, okay. We'll 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 go there then. I can understand wanting to honor or even celebrate. Oh, it's history, cold. But this may take it too far. I don't know. It's kind of nice, you know. What's actually around this place? Oh, oh, hello. Structure and an unknown. Huh. Yeah, there's not a, f not a fat lot. What's that? Oh. Not a fat lot there, but... Is that a ship? That is a ship. How interesting. Well, alright, let's go and help this woman, and then uh, maybe we'll do a little exploration. Okay. So she's... Oh, she's in there, isn't she? I forgot. Oh, well, never mind. We can, we can, we can get in. We can get in. It's fine. It's not a problem. Oof. Oh! Wait. Hold on. Oh, yeah. That's fine. New Homestead is a living history exhibit. A living history exhibit. Oh, I will be. Don't worry. I'm, 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 I can be nice. I'm not awful. Sometimes. Okay, I mean... here live a simple life. Try not to complicate it. One thing that you could do, you know, instead of just standing there making ridiculous comments, is make me a nice coffee. I'm a, I'm a guest. And it's cold outside, you know? Well, alright. So down here. 
Bonjour, madame. What? Have we... We haven't been in here. Titan, new homestead. Sa Star Sap Tours. I can't imagine you'd be here. Oh, hello. Brochure, rough draft. I've got to know. Visit historical new homestead and take a comprehensive, genuine star sap tour. Learn about the early days of humanity's ventures into space. See how people lived in the colonies of yore. Speak and interact with traditional Titan citizens experiencing early colony life. Explore the frozen surface of Titan. Why is it so All right. I mean, still has the same charm. museum. Dis okay. From left to right, unknown decorative liquor bottle bought for, from Earth to New Homestead during the original mission. Electronic pipes used to inhale various legal substances during the New Homestead, early New Homestead colonial times. Equinoctial dial brought to New Homestead by one of the original settlers as a family heirloom. Original, original construction. 1800. Scroll case of unknown date and origin, believed to have once been a sacred relic. This old scroll the case likely predates any other synthetic item in the museum. The scroll itself has been lost to time. Well, alright. So it's like a proper museum, isn't it? So okay. <sighs> I guess I should have expected that. Well, yeah, I mean, it's... it's, it's um, Titan. Look Did you at this. see those wind turbines out there? Yeah. Wow. The Brown Horse Tavern. I like the sound of it. Oh, it's like a bar, isn't it? Hello. Wow. Well, I Quiet place. suppose this is one way to make a living, and if New Homestead deems it necessary. All right, Andreja, let's not be offensive. What's what that on the end of the bar? I spy with my little eye. It's Love you, wind. Anja. Hi, Anja. I found this slate one of the customers left behind. Tried contacting them, but they never came back for it. Anyway, I know they don't like us using newer tech like this here, but I figured I'd already catch enough flack for working at chunks that I don't care. I just wanted to leave this for you and tell you that I love you, baby. You're my everything. You've come here to see oh, well, well isn't that nice? Like... Alright, let's go and talk Did to this, this, this person you. instead of exploring the, the museum. As exciting as it is... You know. Okay, let's let's so she's down here in facilities. Small child. All right, in the clinic. Hello. I'll treat you if you need it, but please try to be more careful around here. Oh, I'm fine. Don't what worry. What can I do for you? Um. Yeah, you don't seem to like tourists. I don't. They make a mockery of New Homestead culture, and on top of it, they're reckless. It's like I said before, I feel like I'm treating them more often than our own people. Um. Yeah, it sounds frustrating. I wish there was something I could do. Actually, maybe there is. Okay. I have an idea that may be best suited for someone relatively unknown instead of myself. I've got a mountain of work and a reputation to maintain. So I bought a realistic monster costume. The plan was to wear it, scare tourists away, and start a rumor about terrible creatures living on Titan. I figure that once word gets around, tourism will take enough of a dive to give me some relief. Um, hmm. Does sound ridiculous, but do you think it'll work? Maybe. I'm not sure. I know it sounds crazy, but I don't have any other ideas. The tourism board flat out won't help me, and I don't have money in the budget to hire additional help. And you know these tourists will believe anything they see in here. I think it's worth a shot. Worst case scenario, I'm back to square one. What if I got shot? I mean, yeah, go on, I'll do oh. it. It sounds quite fun. <laughs> I was hoping not to have to do it myself, so I'm glad to have a volunteer. Here's the costume. Okay. I think this will work best on the surface, so just find a group and run up to them Acting like a convincing alien monster. With any luck, they'll run screaming and book the next flight out of here. Um, okay. I, curiosity, for one. Let's just have a look at this monster costume before I do anything. 
I... Mm. All right. Um... Oh, it's not apparel. I imagine it would be a space suit. Um... All right. I've seen it. I'll 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 put it on outside, probably. Out here. Ooh. Hey space frog! How did that get here? It's cool though. Hello. You off worlders have it made. Do we though? Do we? Um how do I get out? Is there a means to get out? I mean this doesn't look particularly fun, does it? It looks kinda miserable. Let's be lounge. What's in the lounge? Um. All right, not a fat lot. Okay, so we need to go and scare some tourists now. Welcome to New Homestead. Wear it on the surface. So okay, okay. So I need to find a group of tourists and scare them. How does one go about that? Where would the tourists be? Let's um. Okay, let's just, 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 just put this on. As ridiculous as I will feel in it, and I have no doubt. I... Well... Alright. So we have to be a convincing monster. What if we get shot? I don't want to get shot. Ah. ah! There you go. How about that? I don't know what noise would a, would a alien make. Okay. Rah! Woo! It's going to eat us! Ah! Oh, I... As I stand here, I question my life choices, Andreja. Ridiculous. All right, get me out of this thing, man. Ridiculous thing. Get me in my proper spacesuit. Yes. All right. All right. All right. All right. Good God. Get the helmet back on. Thank you. There you go. Yes, I I have one on. I hope. Yes, everything's on. Good, 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 good. We're all right. Well, there you go. We we scared the tourists suitably. I I think. I mean, it seems a little stupid to scare tourists off because surely they bring in, you know, money and funding. Just saying, hey, you you're just a citizen, okay? And you're a tourist. All right. I'm going. Can we open the door? You a child? Alright, kid. Move. Alright. That's done and dealt with. And finito, benito. Is it through here? Huh. Oh, do you know... The things that I do to help people is unbelievable. But you know what? It is what it is. Hello. Don't be afraid. Did you scare off those tourists yet? Yeah, I scared them off. <laughs> I'll bet they won't be coming back anytime soon. Thanks for <laughs> indulging me with my weird ideas. Yeah. Tell you what. If you want to come back later and do this for me a couple more times, I'll even let you keep the costume. Oh, well, thanks. Andreja. We are now a monster, apparently, in 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 some bizarre well, in this universe we've suddenly become Lots of history a monster who can history kill people off. Sort of well, not kill people off, scare people off what we're talking about. Hello What's this? Letter to the school board? 
to whom it may concern, my daughter Sylvie is part of the UC Remote World Learning Program. In this month's study kit, she was assigned a book titled The Hills Cry Jemison. As I do all books assigned to her, I took to reading it first to judge suitability for my daughter. How do you get off giving her this garbage to read? Her assigned learning counsellor tells us it's really about building friendships, learning to tolerate others' differences and overcoming adversity. That's all fine and good. Those are important lessons, but I see it for what it is, nothing but propaganda promoting your planet. My daughter is a proud new homesteader, and I see to it she remains that way. I don't want her getting silly ideas in her head about picking up from her home and family and moving to your consumer wasteland of a world. Sylvie will not be reading this book. I want my daughter to learn, but if you keep sending her material that pushes her away from me, I'll have no choice but to homeschool her, which places a huge burden on my family due to our farming responsibilities. Please reconsider re the reading material you send our way. Nathaniel Manila. Manila. I've heard that name before, have I not? Uh, Get used to the methane processing smell after a while. I'm sure you do, dude. So... Are you not Nathaniel then? Is this is this no. Off-worlders always ask how I can live here. No, I'm not interested in how you live here. Not gonna lie, Field of Evergloss. Ah, uh, okay. I thought it was gonna be a a book that we might get something from. Cause I know you can get quests from some of these books. Nathaniel. If you need medical attention, see Doctor Lacora. I don't need any medical attention. I'm quite all right, thank you. There are some dangerous areas around here that are not part of it. Oh, I'm sure there are. Must be nice to be able to afford to travel. Adrian huh? Brasilia. All right. Oh, you, you don't really want to talk to me. I'm just a nobody from the crates. Besides, I'm not really good at talking to tourists about New Homestead. If you're really interested in our history, talk to Maurice. He's a lot better at that than I am. Um... Yeah, please don't say that. I'm sure you're not a nobody. I feel like it sometimes. Oh. I don't have many friends, and I'm struggling to stay in my undergrad program. It feels like I'm never going to get out of here and make a name for myself. Oh. Anyway, if we're going to talk, maybe we should talk about something else. Um. Yeah, so you're having trouble with your studies? Okay, well, no. Not the studies specifically. Like, I get good grades when I'm able to apply myself. But I'm poor. I just don't have the kind of money to be a full-time student and support myself. Even living in the cheap-ass crates. I keep having to take odd jobs just to put food on my plate. And when I do, my grades suffer. I just feel like I'll be stuck in a rut forever. Well, that's a little sad. Um, I mean, we can afford it. Hopefully, she's not a scammer. Yeah, screw it. There you are. What? Really? Yeah. I, I don't know what to say. This is beyond kind of you. I mean, I don't even know you, but wow, thank you. All right. I did not have the opportunity for a formal education of that kind, but I recognize its value. You are good to assist her. That's that's until yeah. our next talk. Yeah. Hopefully she wasn't like scamming us. I think she was sat here before, wasn't she? So that's fine. Would it be ever so rude to read this? Things have been tough since Mum left and Dad died. I'm very alone here, but I'm hanging in there. Dad was never quite the same after she left, and Mum, well, I'm glad she's gone. I never seemed good enough for her, and her new boyfriend was kind of a jerk. I'm finishing up school, and then hopefully I can get out of here too. But it's hard, because even though my classes cost next to nothing, I still have lots of expenses, and I barely have enough to eat. I only earn scraps from Jay and Anja. It's not like they have tons of credits either. And because I have to take time away from my studies, my grades suffer. It sucks. Why is everything so hard? How do people... How do other people do this? No one around here has really gone to college except for Dr. Lakota and maybe that new lady, Joyce. Dr. Lakota doesn't really have time for me and the few times I went for advice she was just like, stick with it kid, 
You'll get there if you put in the work. I don't know what to do. I thought writing it down would help, but now I just have a place I can remember how bad I feel right now. So that's cool. Oh. Well, I mean, I don't want to take a diary with me. Jesus. I'm glad we helped her then. Yeah, I'm glad we helped her. Can we just drop it? There we go. Ain't doing nothing. There you go. Back where it belongs. Yeah, I'm glad we helped. Hopefully she'll 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 have a bit of a better life. Are you Hi there? No. Always nice seeing a new face. Yeah, hey dude. I'm trying to find this other this dude who's worried about his kid, but I don't know where he is. Huh. Yeah, I'm glad we helped. Why not, eh? Give a little love. As the song goes, you give a little love and it all comes back Those to you. Those folks in Sidonia may be closer to Earth, but we do a better job preserving its traditions. Yeah, all right. Well, um, okay, well, they are. I don't think we'll be scaring tourists for a while. I mean, of all the things. Of all the things. This Star Sap tour times. seems interesting. What's going on here? Bill Star Sap. Yes. Star Sap Tours was voted best historic tour three years in a row. Why, hello there! Okay. I'm Bill Star Sap of Star Sap Tours. Let me tell you, this place is full of history and interesting facts. Okay, Bill. For instance, did you know that New Homestead was one of the first colonies established outside of Earth? It's been populated in some capacity for over 200 years. Well, that's great, Bill. Um... Also, what brand of coffee do you drink? Because, my God, the energy. I like it. Okay, um, hmm. That's incredible. I had no idea. Yes, sirree. And that's not science fiction. It's science fact. There's a lot more history where that came from. So what do you say? I've got an opening. I could take you on a tour right now if you'd like. Um, should we, should we, should we take a tour right now? Um... Is he going to... Yeah, all right. Excellent! You won't regret it. My tours are one of a kind. <laughs> now, there's just the matter of price. The going rate for a genuine Star Sap tour is only 100 credits. Well, I... Uh, I don't know. Not right now, no worries, actually. my friend. I'll be here if you change your mind. Cool. So we can go and take the tour if we want to. <laughs> I'm learning so much here. Huh? Well, At least once in their life. I mean, y'all, y'all kind of got scared by the the monster. Which, hey, I'm sorry about that. You know, it's probably a little mean. Careful out there. Some wacko is running around in an obviously fake monster costume, trying to scare people. It's one thing to learn about. Them. <laughs> I'm a wacko, apparently. Whoa, okay. All right. Well, what's this? Mission board. Trackers Alliance. Ah. Ah. Okay. Well. The what was that? Luther. Who is Luther? Luther. We used to get more tourists than we do these days. Oh. Luther's in here, apparently. <sighs> I'm just hoping by killing a bit of time we'll uh, be able to finally get that. I could that... have sworn I've seen those silly little space frog posters somewhere else. Never thought I'd see him here. Yeah. Whoa! Did you see that weird monster thing? Luther yeah, Atlanta. We Welcome to, to the new homestead chunks. We've got all your chunks' favorites. Well, almost all of them. All right. Sadly, we're out of the special sauce. Ooh. I know, I know. But everything else is still that great chunks food you know and love. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? Um, hmm. Running out of chunk special sauce sounds like a problem. If I'm completely honest, it is. People are always saying how this chunks can't compare to the real deal. And I just hmm. know it's because we never had that mouth-watering sauce. 
I've been in contact with some of the other restaurants out there and they'll give me some, but they say they can't afford to send it and I don't have a ship, so what am I to do? Uh, I think we've just found our new job to go and get the special sauce. Wait, for real? You do that? Yep. You're not pulling my leg? Nope. Yeah, special sauce. Oh, yeah, right. I actually just got a message back from another Chunks before you got here, and they got a case ready to go for me. All right. Just tell them you're there to pick it up for me, and it should be good to go. Thanks. All right. Well. Welcome to Chunks. Please choose your Chunks. I'm not sure that these space frog pictures fit in. They do bring a smile to your face. Well, that's good. Okay, well, we'll go and get the, the special sauce. Because what meal is complete without special sauce? The fact it's called special sauce troubles me greatly. Okay, here we are. Chunks. Chunks. It's chunky. Time to get chunky. And we've discovered chunks. Hmm. If I've answered each and every question, may I help? <sighs> you are not being very helpful. Why is there all this mess on the floor? Thanks for choosing chunks. Which chunks would you like today? Uh, I'm here to pick up some special sauce for the chunks in New Homestead. Huh. I thought it was a joke at first, but yet here you are. Let me get that for you. Thank you. Hey, and let me know if I can get you some chunks for the road. That'd be nice. Welcome to Chunks. To Maybe we should buy some Great. chunks. What can I get for you? You are very rude, sir. Apple, beef, cake, another cheesecake, cheese steak, excuse me, chicken, chocolate, cola zero, poached egg, pie, baked potato, wine. Do you know, I don't want any of this. No. No. So many options. Andreja, let's 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 sir. get out of here, man. This this is madness. <sighs> I don't know, honestly. And here we are, back again on Titan. I wonder what draws people to Titan. Because I mean, it's pretty frozen, isn't it? It's pretty much frozen wasteland the whole way round. Aside from a couple of places out in the the boonies, so to speak. So, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. What draws these people here? But never mind. We will find out. Luther, hey, dude. I can't believe people actually hey, live like this. Good to see you again. Um, I got the sauce. I knew I could count on you. Let's see it here. Man, you really saved my butt. Corporate's gonna see just how much this place is gonna turn around. Thanks again. I give us some chunk stuff. You chunks chunks. beef. What a great choice. What chunks can I get you? You sound thrilled, my dear. You sound absolutely thrilled. All right, Andreja, let's um. Boy, am I glad they have chunks here. Let's um, just mosey on down here. It's so cold here. And um, take a pew in the bar. What do you think, my dear? Maybe here There's in the corner. Lots smaller than I thought. Have a sit. Have a sit and a think as to what we would like to do next. We will leave it there for today. Next time, hopefully, Vladimir will have the final temple for us so we can get the last power. But then I know there's three temples to find. Hmm. Or do we have to go through the unity? Hmm. I don't know. Well, do you know what, folks? We will find out. I will do some research in the meantime. So until next time, be safe, be good.
and look after yourselves.